Hey guys, what's up? It's MK Joker97 here, back with another video. Today I've got my top five paid applications. Last time I did top five free applications, so this is going to be my top five paid. So I'm talking fast, I'm trying to get this video done quickly because I've already tried doing it like in time, so. And it's always been too long. So, um, by the way, I do have a Switch Easy Colors case coming in the mail, so I will be reviewing that in about a week or so. Okay, so let's start off with another five. You're going to be surprised, but it's Nova. This is going from worst to best, but number five is still a very good application, just so you know that. So Nova is a very good application. It's made by um, Gameloft, and I think they did a great job with it. So I'm just going to show you the multi... I'm just going to show you, not the multiplayer, the... Um, the campaign. So it's just... And the controls and stuff. So, down here you have move, right here you have fire, up here you have, uh, like, stun, you have music up here, pause up there, you have your health up there, you can aim by going like this, you have fire down here, I might have already said that, yeah, I did already say that, you have jump, you have switch weapons by sliding up here, you can tap, you can, um, tap to, um, reload, Um, this is your sniper. You can't no scope, which kind of sucks. You have grenades up here, and I don't have any. But that's basically it, guys. And you just go around extraordinary campaign. So that's Nova. Number. I'm trying to go through these quick because last. Well, I already told you that. So <laughs> number four is Rock Band. Yes, I do like Rock Band better than Nova. <gasps> I know it's amazing, isn't it? I like a lot of games better than Nova, but anyway, these the, I'm reading these games on how often I use them. So, by the way, if I've I've had all these applications for a while, so you don't need to worry about oh, is it one of those one-time things where you like it for about like five days and then you never play it again? No, I've had these old games for a while. So, first problem that I have with Rock Band is the loading screens. Loading screens. Almost every time you click a button, there's a loading screen. So from the main menu, you have Quick Play, World Tour, World Tour, Multiplayer. I guess I accidentally clicked something. But Extras, which is just settings and stuff like that. So I'll just go into Quick Play, show you, like, a one-minute song or something. Um, I was kind of disappointed that you can't actually sing when you click on singing. When you're playing on singing, you can't actually sing. So I'll play all the small things. And see, loading screen, loading screen. Um, I'll play bass because I actually play bass. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, so they only have three difficulties: easy, medium, and hard, which kind of sucks. They should have had added an extra, but it's just like your ordinary rock band. So I'll just play a few seconds. So, that's pretty much it. Um, number three has got to be Run. I use this game a lot because it's just a pick up and play game. It's really awesome. So, from there you have Run, Instructions, Stats, Options, and Credits. Instructions will show you how to play stats, your stats, credits, obviously the credits and on the options. You have sound effects, music vibration, and you can turn the classic song, which I won't get into. But So you have custom mode, normal mode, and quick mode. Quick mode is basically, um, start with all the objects in play. Custom mode, you can customize your round. So, here I'll just show you. Controls are, um, it will automatically run for you, but there's pause down there. Um, you can jump and do that. You click on these destructible objects to shoot them, and you attack zombies. That's basically it, guys. Run number three. Number two is Zombieville USA. With their new update, so that you can pick out of, like, seven or eight characters, it has become an awesome freaking game. Oh, my God. If you don't already have this game, then something's wrong with you. It was great before they added that, but now it's just super good. So I'll go into new game. Look at all these characters. You have the worker, the clown... John Gore, the Survivor, SWAT, 
Ninja, and Doctor. They all they all have their special abilities, and you can also uh uh level select. There's also a level select, which is awesome. So controls just down here. Move left and right. Fire. This is slot, fire, go into houses. That's basically what you're just trying to get to the end. Okay, number one. ATV off-road. Guys, it used to be $10, and now it's 99 cents. Go get it right now. You don't even need to watch this. Go get it right now. Okay? <laughs> go get it right now. It is by far the best racing game on the iPhone. Has tons of controls that you can choose from. It's just great. So it'd have career, arcade, and multiplayer. I haven't actually tried the multiplayer, but it seems really fun. So you can change your bike and stuff like that. So I'll just go through this really quickly because. So yeah, let's turn down the sound. So you have to go down here, you break your tricks down here, and I just died because I did a trick when I was in the middle of the air and I hit the ground before. So you steer by going like this, and if you don't like these controls, there's about like 20 more options they have. <laughs> I'm, I'm exaggerating, there's not 20 more options, there's like 5 more options, and they also have all 5 of those options for left-handed peeps. <laughs> okay, um, anyway guys, this is a must-have on your iPod, it's by far the best racing game. Look at these graphics, come on, look at these graphics. <laughs> By far the best racing game on the iPhone or iPod Touch. That was my top five. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my top five favorite paid applications. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on my Griffin case soon. Um, so be sure to check that out. Um, and it will be up soon, and I'll also have a review on the, um, Switch Easy Colors, so remember, rate, subscribe, comment, and you guys, seriously, comment if you, uh, have an app that you would like me to review. So, uh, see you later.